Olá pessoal do canal, tudo bem com vocês? Bem-vindos a mais um vídeo, a segunda parte do vídeo do que pode ser o melhor vídeo legendado do Nassim Haramein e eu estou tendo o prazer de fazer essa legenda para vocês Bom, a primeira parte, como a gente viu, ele falou bastante sobre o tempo falou sobre é, as nossas consciências, ó, o que é a consciência e onde ela está e eu vou deixar o link para este vídeo aqui do lado, se você quiser ver é só clicar e você vai pra lá, tá bom? Aqui é a segunda parte e ela está muito incrível mesmo. Vamos ver. Talking about um, predicting the future. Memory in physics is time, meaning that we wouldn't have time if we didn't have memory. If you didn't, if you didn't right. remember the minute before, you wouldn't know that there is a continuous, you know, evolution of event, right? right. So you wouldn't have a concept of time. Okay. Um, so You know, so we could remove the word time and replace it with memory. And so that means that... I like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so it's space memory in spa instead yeah. of space time. And that means that space is actually like a medium, like the vacuum fluctuation we were discussing. is like a medium that's that has information in it, right? And you, what you call your past which is your memory, right? Yeah. Is actually information you left on the structure of space-time as you move through it okay. on the planet and, you know, in the solar system and all this stuff. So that means that, like, the, the information that's present at any moment in space, right, is what will predict what's coming right. next, okay. right? It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make these events probable in one direction right. so if you access that information you could you know predict the probabilities of it, what is going to come to next. a higher degree of to certainty a, that's right. right but you'll never actually be able to 100 nail, nail it, it because it's still in that it, feedback system yeah going. because it's constantly changing okay okay right. so would this With this space memory, and I love that term, is that what the ancients would call the Akashic Records? Or Absolutely. That's that's this, this right. hidden gem that we're all looking for. That's right. So how would one then tune themselves in order to um, at Access least interact it. with that with that fabric, that space memory more? What, what, mm -hmm. what, 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 what could one human flesh and bones person do to, to achieve that? Well, you can you can think of your body instead of like being the seat of consciousness you can think of your body as being an antenna that's tapping into this akashic record and what you call con your consciousness is the information you're sending into the akashic record and the information the akashic record is sending back to you or the vacuum you know right. in more modern terms um But um, so the vacuum is the akashic record, right? That's the it. That's all, all the information. Yeah, it's the fluctuation of the information okay. in the structure of space. So if you look at my equations, you find that like every proton has all the information of all the other protons in the universe in terms of vacuum information inside it, and that's I, and and it might sound really outrageous, but the the equation outputs a very precise mass and radius for the proton that's the most precise measurement on the planet today so you know it it's not just an esoteric talk yeah. uh, thought it actually does the job in actually describing matter very very precisely so um, so if you understand that then you understand that going inward in your senses towards the center of your existence literally towards the center of every atom that makes you you're made out of a hundred trillion cells yeah. each cell has a hundred trillion atoms in it and you went so like like any practice in which you're going to the center of your existence will bring you to the access to the akashic okay. record so to, you're seeking it the old sages would say this you seek the information from inside from and within within not yeah. from without that's right but because without it's limited you have limited amount of access to it because you're because you now you're limited to just your senses, senses that's right. whereas if you go internally you have access. you have access to everything that's right oh, okay that's fine and that's, that's why people right. can do remote viewing remote healing and all this stuff Why can you remove? How can you remote view 
uh, <laughs> Probably, yeah. it's, well, it's something that's on the other side of the planet, which has been demonstrated in laboratories over and over since the 70s. Like, mm -hmm. it, you know, with, with undoubting, you know, results um, that people can do that. Mm -hmm. They're not doing that by trying to sense outside themselves yeah. what's going on on the other side of the planet. They're going inside, internally, internally and there they find the information that they're seeking. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so the, therefore, then that that makes me think of every single proton in my body, every single molecular atom inside my body yeah. holds the seed of everybody, everybody else's consciousness with inside of me. Because if all the information is packed inside each and every one of the atoms in my body, mm -hmm. basically I am everything. And everything is, is me. me. Yeah, yeah, that's and right. I, and as long as I can fine tune my body yeah. and get rid of the the blinders that I have on, right, and constantly the idea actively of, seeking outwards, right, and right? and the idea of separation because you think you're there and I'm here and the rocks there and the lakes there and the mountains are there yeah. and it's all separate, but when you actually see that the vacuum between me and you and everything is connected and yeah. it's connecting everything. It's all within you, and and without you know. Yeah. Uh, then you can you can start to actually become an active, uh, what I call vacuum engineer. Meaning you can you can actually start to manipulate the field so that you can you know or harmonize with the field so that you can flow with nature. Yeah. You can flow with the universe in such a way that you become more and more uh, powerful in your capacity to manifest what you want yeah. and to complete, you know, whatever mission is that nice. you're on and that you're here to accomplish. Yeah. So speaking yeah. of missions, what's the Resonance Project Foundation okay. working on right now? You got the delegate program? We got the delegate program, which is great. It's like a 12-week course and you get all the information, all the physics, all the philosophy, all the... Uh, mathematics everything is in there you can skim along on the easy path or you can dig as deep as you want and it's great and all the references are there you can go and like take tangents wherever you want and then two times uh, uh no one time out of the month for two hours i answer questions for people okay. that are taking the course and you know it's really a wonderful course i'm really happy yeah. we have that you know, available for people and now. So, what would this what would this give people? It just give them a nice overall view of this this concept of the connected universe. It'll That's give them right. tangents for them to jump off on. Yeah. Whatever yeah. their passion is, whatever their exactly. whatever their you know whatever they're called to to explore yeah. deeper into different aspects yeah. of the connected if universe. If they want to start solving the equations, or if they want to, they're interested in ancient civilization, or philosophy whatever like the there's all the references there and sure. and it's constantly being updated so you know the new information gets put in and all this stuff and so it's really a comprehensive course and everybody that's taken it so far i mean it's remarkable the the, the feedback we're getting is that it's transformative it's yeah. transforming people's life anybody that takes it come out you know with a completely different outlook yeah. on themselves, the universe, and their place in it okay. than when they started. So it's very compelling. It's very powerful. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. So from from that would stem out, and I I know your work would stem out a lot of solutions, a lot of new concepts, and a lot of practical applications right. that might butt heads with the current establishment in today's world. Oh yeah, whether it or not be does. politics with oil, with big industry, big pharma. Mm -hmm. So, have you ever seen? any resistance have you ever felt any resistance to these new concepts that you're bringing forward with the resonance project oh my god for sure you know we're talking over the last um, 30 years of research that I've done I've seen and I've experienced com certeza não é mesmo imagine tudo que Nassim Ramey não experienciou nesse período bom mas o vídeo vai ficando por aqui porque como eu disse o vídeo vai ser em três partes para que o meu processador consiga dar conta, minha memória RAM, consiga dar conta de trazer todo o conteúdo para vocês, dividir em três partes. Espero que vocês tenham gostado desse vídeo, ele está realmente muito interessante. No próximo vai estar tão interessante ou mais que nestes, dois que já tiveram. E imaginem vocês, né, as dificuldades que o Nassim deve ter passado apresentando uma energia limpa, livre, de graça, disponível em qualquer lugar, para qualquer um. Imagina essa indústria 
ia achar bom algo assim, né? Ela não ia mais poder ter o controle da sociedade, não ia mais poder ter o controle dos seres humanos. Porque os seres humanos não iam mais depender dele para se movimentar, para se alimentar, para ter saúde e coisas do tipo. É óbvio que ele vai encontrar muita gente que está nessas indústrias que controlam o mundo hoje em dia que não vão querer estas ideias, né? Então eles vão apoiar outras ideias contrárias que são as que já estão estabelecidas há mais de 50 anos. Muito obrigado por acompanhar esta série que é muito legal e a próxima vem aí nos próximos dias, tudo bem? Fique inscrito neste canal que você vai receber. Se você não é inscrito, se inscreva e a gente se vê na próxima. Muito obrigado por ser inscrito e até mais.